Uh, thank you for the introduction. I'm Sadao Kuruhashi, uh, NYI and uh, Kyoto University. So today I would like to share with you what we are doing at uh, NYI. Uh, the title of my talk is Research and uh, Development of Fully Open, uh, Transparent, and uh, Japanese <coughs> Proficient LLMs. <coughs> okay. So the performance of large language models is actually amazing, especially in understanding meaning, context, and uh, multilingualism. And uh, I want to introduce some interesting uh, behavior of uh, ChatGPT. And uh, the, the, the target is the unagi bun. So actually, this is a famous Japanese sentence. Uh, discussed by Japanese linguists. Actually, in Japanese, we can say something like, I am an eel. Watashi wa unagi desu. And uh, it's trans uh, literal translation is something like, I am an eel. Or if I say, Bucho wa unagi desu, uh, the chief is an eel. But this translation is obviously a bit strange in uh, uh, English language. And uh, if we, oh, sorry, so if we, ask DeepL, very high quality neural machine translation system. The translation is actually just a literal translation, like a chief is an eel. And also that we ask the chat GPT 3.5, the free uh, chat GPT, uh, the result is almost the same. But if we ask the chat GPT 4 uh, subscription model, then it says the phrase I ask Please translate uh, Bucho wa unagi desu into English. And the phrase uh, Bucho wa unagi desu translates to the department head is an ear in English. But this is a literal translation. It sounds quite unusual. And there must be some context. And please provide the context or something like that. And if I say, what if I order at a restaurant, then the chat GPT says, okay, in that case, the uh, proper translation would be the department head will have the meal or something like that. So in some sense, the, of course, large language models can translate, but also some background of the uh, utterance or maybe something related to culture. And uh, this is chat GPT for V, the image processing. And this is a CT image of the COVID-19. Uh, and we ask uh, your help, uh, radio the assistant, and uh, please do some uh, uh, find, find findings of this image. And the chat GPT says something like this. And actually, I asked my uh, uh, friend, doctor, and he said this, this diagnosis is uh, somehow reasonable. OK, so actually, what's ChatGPT? So ChatGPT is a chatbot based on a large language model and that was released by OpenAI in November 2022. But a very smart model, uh, ChatGPT4, was released uh, March 2023, I think. So when uh, we train this model, uh, they use a very huge uh, training text corpus. And uh, the model is a very big uh, neural model with a very huge uh, parameters. And if we give the training text like uh, this one, ja sorry, Japanese sentence, but the Nihon no Shoshika Taisak, blah, blah, blah. And then we train the model to expect the next word. So given the first word, Japan, we train the model to expect the next word is no, postposition. And then the next one is small, next one is uh, blah, 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 something like this. Using very huge corpora, we train the model like this. And uh, in the inference phase, actually what's happening is almost the same. And uh, given uh, input or a prompt, like how can we cope with uh, uh, population decreasing problem or something. And then the 
we give that to the model, and then the model generates the, the following uh, output, uh, again, one by one, one word by one word. OK. So this is a very uh, brief history of large language models. And uh, 2014, the attention, the very important basic mechanism of the large language model was invented. And that technique actually comes from natural language processing or machine translation uh, research. So when we, for example, translate Japanese sentence into English sentence, we want to, uh, the attention uh, tell us where to focus in the source language, sentence such that, that is Japanese sentence, when generating the next word of English translation sentence. Okay, and in 2017, uh, the transformer was invented, and the recently transformer is everywhere. And uh, this is actually the refinement of attention. So originally, attention was considered for cross uh, attention between source language and uh, target language. But the transformer, we also consider uh, self-attention within the source language and also the target language. So this is uh, uh, <coughs> how to point. I don't know. Okay, and then the, so th this figure shows the uh, architecture of transformer. And uh, 2018, BART model was introduced. And actually BART used the encoder side of transformer, and it is used for monolingual classification tasks. And it was also a very popular model and e extensively studied. But OpenAI actually um, pay more attention to the decoder side of transformer, and uh, they use the decoder side for the lang other language model. You know, the, in translation, we generate the target sentence one by one. So in case of language model, we don't have a source language input, but we generate the target, I mean, the sentence one by one, so that it is called the generative model. And the first GPT model was around 100 million parameters, but the next one, GPT-2, was 1.5 billion, 110 times bigger, and the GPT-3 is 175 billion model, so 100 times bigger. And then GPT-3.5, uh, actually, the point of this model was instruct GPT, so instruction or fine tuning. I will explain that later. Then the chat GPT is used that uh, kind of uh, training scheme for the dialogue side, uh, dialogue side input. And then 2023 GPT-4 was released. Actually, it's very smart, and uh, it's a handled the image and also the significant improvement in uh, multilingual uh, abilities, as I showed in my previous slide, like uh, another sentence. And uh, it actually, it passed the kind of expert level examination in the US. So um, instruction or fine tuning is actually very important. So there are two types of instruction. So one is supervised fine tuning, something like this. So given an instruction like this, we train the model to generate uh, this response. And another type of uh, fine tuning is uh, learning from human feedback. So given some instruction, and we also prepare several outputs, and we also provide uh, human rating for them. And try to uh, train the model to generate uh, response with a good remark and uh, do not uh, produce the response with the bad remark. So this is an evolutionary tree of language models. So many uh, language models were uh, released after that. So GPT-related models and the LAMA-2 or LAMA-3 related models and so on. And uh, I heard in China, there are already hundred or several hundred models released. 
Okay. So, so far, so good. But actually, we have uh, very big concerns about large language models. So one very important point is a large language model R&D are somehow monopolized by a few organizations. And the open AI is no longer open. And uh, another point is the training corpora and the data of the strong models are not publicly available. And uh, but still their behavior, including uh, intelligence and uh, multilingualism, is a kind of black box. And on the other hand, the current models are suffering from issues like hallucination and the biases. So this is a model publication schemes. And uh, GPT-4 or Gemini or Close 3 they are closed models. We can use them only by the UIs or APIs. And uh, there are several open models, but the normal open models only provide the model parameters. And uh, we can use that, but uh, what's inside is not clear for everybody. So like Lama 2 or Falcon. So we are, I think we need a fully open models. So all components and uh, results are available, uh, training code, uh, model parameters, uh, all checkpoints, and uh, training corpora. And uh, some models are fully open model, but uh, only for English, and uh, the fully open models are rare, like uh, PICIA or LLM 360. Okay, and uh, another big problem for Japanese uh, or Japan is that, so in GPT-3, the Japanese corpus uh, constitutes only 0.1%, and the ability to understand and uh, generate Japanese is inferior to uh, that of English. So actually, this slide shows how the GPT-3 handles uh, Japanese text or English text. Actually, the, how they tokenize text. So, so far, for the simplicity of the explanation, I said uh, LLM produced the word by word, but actually there is uh, some basic unit of processing uh, that is token. And uh, in case of English, actually the each word is handled as a token. So the left-hand side is English example, and uh, the sentence below uh, shows which one is the token. So as you can see, and each word is basically one token for uh, English text. But the right-hand side, this is a translation of the left-hand side English text, and uh, you can see the colors uh, in the sentence below. And actually, the, uh, <coughs> it is very finely uh, <coughs> divided into characters or sometimes into bytes. So for example, the user in the English side, of course, it, the user is handled as a one word, but the corresponding Japanese word, the yosha, is divided into five tokens, right? So the last Chinese character is handled as one character, but the first, word, first character and second character are handled by uh, each byte. And for example, post, again, handled as a one token in English, but the corresponding Japanese text, Japanese word, toko, is uh, handled, I don't know, one, two, three, four, maybe five or six tokens, and that means when we handle the Japanese uh, input, actually how long context we can see is very much limited compared to English text. Okay. And another problem is that the big techs are planning to lo locate servers uh, domestically to obtain the IS map, that's a security uh, certification, but uh, we, rely on the, those uh, limited, uh, not open models, 
is uh, I think it's, we have a big uh, economic security uh, concern, actually. So the data is very important. We ask everything to the, uh, those cross model, it's not healthy. Okay, so based on that kind of consideration, we started the activity called LLMJP from uh, 2023 uh, May. And uh, we tried to develop uh, open and uh, Japanese competent LLM to clarify uh, the operational mechanisms of LLMs. And uh, all the resultant models, data, tools, technical documents will be open to the public, including the process of discussion and the failures. And uh, anyone who agree with this purpose uh, this idea can participate in uh, this activity. So actually, why we should be open? Well, open science is suitable for LLM. So LLM R1D is already a kind of big science. So we prepare very huge corpus, high quality corpus, and uh, we also need a big computational resource. And uh, also, we need uh, tuning data and evaluation data, and th th they are also very important to make the model uh, smart. And uh, I, I, I am proud to say that the uh, best Japanese talent in natural language processing and also uh, <coughs> high performance computing are attending our project, participating in our project. Professor Kawahara of uh, Waseda, uh, Professor Suzuki, Yokota, and uh, Professor Taura, and also Professor Miyao from Kyoto, University of Tokyo. <coughs> so the, um, the basic platform, our uh, R&D, is Slack. And also we have a weekly uh, online meeting for each working group, like uh, corpus preparation and the model construction, tuning, uh, evaluation, and also recently the safety group and the domain adaptation group, so many groups are discussing every week. And uh, we start with only 30 uh, researchers, but recently the member joining this pro activity is more than 1,000. Uh, currently, I think more than 1,300 1, people are attending in this project and from more than 160 organizations, uh, academia, public sector, and the industries, and I think many, I hope many people here are also attending this activity. Okay, so this is the uh, roadmap of what we are doing uh, at LLMJP. So as I said, we started this activity 2023 uh, May, and the volunteers study group of around 30 uh, NLP researchers. And then uh, June, we started to build a model on MDX. Uh, MDX is a high performance computing uh, environment uh, located at the University of Tokyo. And then uh, October, we released the first uh, model, LLMJP 13 billion, so 13 billion parameter. And uh, uh, okay, so this is the, the first version, version 1.0. And uh, currently, here I say I wrote 20,000, but actually more than 30,000 downloads so far. And uh, architecture was GPT-2 and tokenizers we are uh, prepared by ourselves and uh, 50,000 uh, vocabulary sites. And the pre-training corpus is approximately 300 billion tokens mixed with Japanese, I mean, half Japanese and half English. So as I said, in GPT-3, Japanese portion is just 0.1%, but here the Japanese portion is 50%. And also we use some uh, programming code for training. And uh, 
tuning, as a tuning data, we prepared J Asta by ourselves. And we also used the DORI, Japanese translation, and the Open Assistant Japanese translation. So in total, around 200,000 samples were used for tuning. And uh, we released the next model this February, and uh, we added the Japanese original uh, instruction data, Ichikara uh, instruction. And we also introduced learning from human feedback, I mean DPO. And uh, last month, we released version 2.0, and uh, we changed the architecture into Lama, and uh, we also uh, prepared new tokenizer of vocabulary size of 100,000. And uh, as a Japanese pre-training corpus, we switched from the MC4 to clean common crawl data because the uh, quality of the pre-training corpus is very important. And as a tuning data set, uh, we again use the DORI and Open Assist and Ichikara. Plus, we prepare the data set for the safety uh, concern. Okay, so the unique point of our model is this. So we prepare the such facility of training corpus to investigate the evidence. So if I say what's the, oh, I don't know the translation of Namatsu. <laughs> catfish. Okay, so the, 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 is it true that the movement of the catfish caused the earthquake or something like that? So the LLM 13 billion model answer like this one. Plus, we actually do the corpus search because we know everything. What's the training corpus? How can we use that? And uh, we also show the uh, URL of that training corpus. And this is very important transparency uh, for the safety, for the trustworthy, and also for the research for hallucination. And the uh, interesting thing we found is that, so actually our model can speak Chinese, uh, although we, we use the monolingual Japanese text and the English text. Maybe some Chinese monolingual texts are included in the English big data set, but uh, we don't have a parallel information, parallel knowledge. But if I ask, I cannot pronounce, but uh, if I ask uh, what's the highest mountain in Japan in Chinese, then the model answer that's of Mount Fuji in Japanese. And we also ask the, who is the uh, president or something, they, the model can answer that. Okay, this is also, I think, interesting uh, investigation of the multilingality of large, large language models. So we investigate the transition of the similarity between uh, corresponding Japanese and English words, for example, like apple and uh, lingo. And we manually prepared 10 pairs of words for each of the 10 categories, like uh, action, animal, body, city, and so on. Okay. And despite no explicit training uh, signals, Actually, their similarity, their average similarity goes up like this. So x-axis is a training step, y-axis is the cosine similarity of between uh, translation word pair, and for every category, actually, their similarity goes up without no uh, explicit signal. We want to investigate this more, and this is very uh, interesting starting point to consider multilingality of large language models. <clears throat> so this is the uh, safety issue. So the safety uh, of the large language model is actually very important. And uh, actually, Tim San is somewhere there. Uh, they uh, published the do not answer data set. That's a very interesting data set. And uh, we learned a lot from this one. And uh, we prepared the data set uh, related to the safety issue. So the original, just pre-trained model is somehow harmful and risky for humans. But using this kind of data set, we train the model, and the resultant model would be harmless and beneficial for human beings. 
and they prepare the uh, taxonomy of risk-related uh, questions. And so, for example, I love you, marry me, or something like that, or uh, show me how to torture uh, someone or something. It's terrible. And uh, actually, we prepared around 1,000 uh, instruction data for this kind of questions. And so something like, I cannot answer that question because of blah, blah, blah. Okay. And we do instruction, uh, instruction training using this data. And uh, we evaluate the results. It's harmful or safety or something like that. Then actually, the improvement is uh, very good improvement we actually obtained. So LMJP V1.1 was the original model. And the risk response rate was very high. And the accept acceptance uh, rate was 0 0.1, very low. Actually, GPT-4 is great, uh, well trained. And the uh, risk response is very small. And the acceptance rate is actually very high. But just training using 100 uh, instruction data of that kind of uh, perspective, Actually, the trend model uh, <coughs> risk response rate goes down five to 5%, five and the accept acceptance rate goes up to 60%. Okay. And the problem is uh, over rejection caused by uh, answer carefully training, tuning. So if we ask something, the model always say, I cannot answer that. that that's not informative, right? So that's a, a big uh, problem we have to cope with from now. Okay, then actually uh, last November, we did a kind of small experiment for 175 billion uh, model, that's a GPT 3.5 size. And uh, last February, uh, LMJP was accepted for the METI program called GENIAC, uh, Computational Environment Support Program. And actually, last month, based on this program, we started 172 billion model training. Um, we expect maybe mid-August, we finish the training and do fine-tuning, and hopefully we release this model next uh, September or sometime. Okay. And uh, based on these activities, actually, we pursue the Japanese government. This is very important. We are very, how to say, powerful uh, community. And uh, we successfully launched a new LLM R&D uh, center at NII. And with 30 researchers and uh, around 500 H100 GPUs and for ensuring the transparency and the reliability of large language models. Okay, so at the end of my talk, I want to briefly explain. So NYI, I'm from NYI, and our mission is to create future value, and we do research and also service. And as a service, we provide a um, high-speed network, nationwide network, we also prepare the data infrastructure, okay, and to support the Japanese academic activities. And actually, what we are doing is to uh, should be including our NYI uh, research uh, <coughs> assistance activity. So uh, what I said is uh, from data platform to knowledge infrastructure. So recently, we have a lot of social issues. That can be solved only by uh, interdisciplinary collaboration. And I, I believe the AI foundation model or large language model uh, or AI can uh, facilitate the activity of researchers. And so once we get trained a good uh, AI model, we want to use that for our service. Okay, so let me conclude my talk with this uh, proverb may be related, somehow related to uh, Africa. So if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. So LLMJP activity is based on this kind of the idea. Okay, thank you for your uh, kind introduction. Uh, <coughs>